Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, today I would like to talk one of my research project which is to using EC, atmospheric compression for reducing the number of features. So, uh, currently we have so many data that have a large number of features like text data, gene expression data, or image data can have uh, up to millions of features. Right? And what's the problem is when we have too many features, we usually do not have enough samples to train our machine learning model, and that's called the curse of imaginality here. And also, normally in a large number of features, we have many irrelevant and redundant features that can reduce the classification performance. And therefore, we need to use feature reduction to reduce the number of features and also can improve the classification performance. And also, by reducing the number of features, we can improve the interpretability of the learned model. In general, features reduction can have two main approaches. One is feature selection, which is very much to select a subset of original features. And the other one is feature construction, which view a small number of hardware features, which are more informative than the original features. Right? Uh, however, feature reduction is quite challenging. Firstly, because it has a very large subspace, it can increase exponentially with the number of features. And secondly, we do have a very complex interaction between features. So it's not simply select a top-rank rank, uh, uh, top features. And also, we do have uh, the some conflict between the two objectives. Because when we reduce too many features, we may uh, lose some information, and therefore, the accuracy is going to be reduced. Okay. So that's why feature reduction is not an easy task. And in general, uh, here is a feature reduction process, set, and we have two main mechanisms, sorry, components. One is uh, the search mechanism. We can generate the feature subset or the new handle features. And the second component is the evaluation component. We try to see how good are the feature subset or how good are the new features. And the two process of search mechanism and the evaluation criterion can be repeated until a stopping criterion is matched. Uh, our project group on both components. For the first component, search mechanism, we use the EC uh, to do uh, the search. And the idea of EC is very much, um, you can have multiple agents that can search the space simultaneously and they can share their knowledge to improve uh, their quality. And EC is uh, a good choice here because it doesn't require any assumption about the, the model of the new features. It doesn't require the objective function to be differentiable, and it also can handle the multi-objective problem pretty easy. However, most EC algorithms can kind of focus on the uh, continuous optimization, and features Reduction is somehow um, a discrete one, and therefore we have to develop a new biology one with very much less uh, agent to jump in a suspect. And it works much better than the continuous one. And here's just the uh, equation for just uh, by the suspect. And also we uh, develop a new multi-objective mechanism where we can detect where the two objectives are conflicting, and we can focus the research on the conflicting reasons. And based on that, we can evolve a very diverse solution here with a large, I'm sorry, with a uh, uh, very low average or very small number of feature ratio. And you can select either any of them as a final solution. Uh, in terms of evaluation criteria, we also work on several criteria. One is uh, uh, based on statistical and distant methods such as visual information and relief. And we find that it's very fast. However, the accuracy is not that high. The other one is you also can use a learning performance to do feature reduction. And you can achieve very high accuracy, but it's pretty slow. And we do have developed a new service model. We can speed up the process of doing feature reduction using learning performance. And currently, we are doing the embedded methods, which somehow in the between of the first two here, is fast and it's quite good, achieve good accuracy. 
And the idea is kind of is we're using the spa learning where we try to learn a spa matrix that can map from the feature to the output. And then based on the number, the width in the matrix, we can find out which features are important. Okay, thank you. That's very much my work.